Welcome back to another ukulele tutorial. Today's lesson is on Puff the Magic Dragon and how to play it using two beautiful finger picking patterns. I'll show you how to play these patterns and then we'll walk through how to play each section of the song. One of the nice things about this song is that the verses and the chorus use the same chord progression. I want to point out that I'm playing a tenor with a low G. If you have a high G on your instrument, you could follow this entire tutorial. Just keep in mind that your fourth string will be one octave higher than mine. Now let's get started by looking at how to play the chords in this song and how to transition between them. Our first chord is F. I have my index finger on the first fret of the second string and my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. The next chord is A minor, and this is only my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So going from F to A minor, all we have to do is lift up our index finger. Our next chord is B flat, and there are two ways to play this chord. One is to use our index finger over strings one and two on the first fret, and then place down our middle finger on the second fret of the third string and ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string. The second option is to bar the entire first fret across all four strings and then place down our middle finger and ring fingers in the same position. You can try it both ways and see which you prefer. Our next chord is D minor. To play this I have my index finger on the first fret of the second string and my middle and ring fingers on the second fret of the third and fourth strings. Next we have G7. To transition from D minor to G7, I'm going to leave my index finger in place and move my middle and ring fingers to the second fret of the first and third strings. Our final chord is C7, which is the first fret of the first string. Now we've come to our first finger picking pattern. I want to point out that as we move through this lesson, the lyrics and the chords will be on screen. You can also download them as a PDF from a link down in the description. Now here's what our first finger picking pattern sounds like. Let's take a close look at how to play this pattern and how to apply it to our song. Here's this pattern played nice and slow on our F chord. I'm starting with my thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the third string, then I'm playing strings one and two together with my middle and ring fingers, then I'm going back to the third string with my index finger. The rhythm of this pattern is one, two, three, four. Looking at the first line of the first verse, we're going to play our pattern once on each chord. So starting with once on F, once on A minor, once on B flat, and then once again on F. Here's how it sounds to add the lyrics to this line. Puff the magic dragon, lived by the sea. For the second line, we'll play our pattern once on B flat. And then when we get to F, we're going to pick all four strings. And then pick all four strings again on D minor. These are quick chord changes, so we don't have time to play the entire pattern. But once we get to G7, then we'll play our pattern again, and then play the pattern once again on C7. Here's how it sounds to add the lyrics to the second line. And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. 
three will be played the same way as line one, playing our pattern once on each chord. For line four, we're going to play our pattern once on B flat, and then we're going to pick all four strings for each of the remaining chords. So starting on F, then D minor, G7, C7, F, and then we finish on C7. Here's how it sounds to add the lyrics to line four. And brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Oh. Now I'll put together all four lines of the first verse. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Come to our first chorus. The lyrics in the first two lines and the second two lines are identical to the lyrics of the first two lines of verse 1. The chord progression through the chorus is the same as the chord progression through the verses. So we've already learned how to play the chord progression and we're already familiar with the lyrics. So now I'll play through the chorus using our first finger picking pattern. Puff. enjoying this lesson, please give this video a like and thank you so much for subscribing. I very much appreciate your support for this channel. Now we're moving into our second finger picking pattern. Here's how this one sounds. Let's take a look at this one up close and continue to move through our song. Here's our second pattern at a nice slow tempo on our F chord. I'm starting with my thumb on the 4th string, index finger on the 3rd string, middle finger on the 2nd string, ring finger on the 1st string, then going back to the 3rd string with my index finger, and finishing on the 2nd string with my middle finger. The rhythm of this pattern is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. If we speed that up, it's one and two and three and four and. Now moving into the second verse, our chord progression is the same as the other verses and the chorus. We'll start by playing our pattern once on F, once on A minor, once on B flat, and once again on F. Now adding in the lyrics to this first line of the second verse. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. On the second line, we play our pattern once on our B flat chord. And then we're going to pick all four strings on F, all four strings on D minor, and then we'll go back to our pattern on G7 and our pattern on C7. Now adding in the lyrics for line two. 
Jackie kept a lookout perch on Puff's gigantic tail. For line three, our chord progression is the same as line one. Noble kings and princes would bow from where they came. For line four, we'll play our pattern once on B flat. And then we're going to pick all four strings on F, on D minor, G7, C7, F, and ending on C7. Now adding in the lyrics to line four. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name, oh. Now we're moving into our second chorus that's played the same way as the first. So I'll play through this one using our second finger picking pattern. For our third verse, we still have our same chord progression. I'm going to play the first two lines using our first finger picking pattern and the second two lines using our second finger picking pattern. A dragon lives forever, but not so little boys. Painted wings and giant rings make way for For the next chorus, I'll do the same thing, so playing pattern one on the first two lines and pattern two on the second two lines. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanavi. Moving into verse four, I'm going to reverse our pattern. So I'm going to play pattern two on the first two lines of verse four and pattern one on lines three and four. His head was bent in sorrow. Green tears fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry to the final chorus, and the last line of this chorus is a bit different to end the song. If we use our first finger picking pattern, starting on B flat, we'll play our pattern once, then we'll pick F on all four strings, we'll do the same on D minor, then we'll play our pattern once on G7, once on C7, on F, and we'll end the song with an arpeggio on F, playing through all four strings. Here's how it sounds to add in the lyrics. And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Now 
switching over to our second figure picking pattern, here's how it sounds to apply this pattern to the final line. And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Now I'm going to play through a section of this song instrumental only, so you can really hear how it sounds to apply these patterns to the chord progressions. Now keep in mind that the verses and the chorus are played the same way using the same chord progression. So I'm going to play through one verse or one chorus, instrumental only. I'll play through it once using our first finger picking pattern, and then I'll play through it a second time using our second finger picking pattern. If a slower tempo would be helpful to hear this demo, then feel free to slow down the playback speed of the video down in the video settings. Here's the standard verse or chorus using the first finger picking pattern. And now I'll play through this once more using the second finger picking pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and learning these two finger picking patterns. Have fun practicing Puff the Magic Dragon, and thank you for watching.